The Law of One, Book One, Part 14, Session 7, Continued. Questioner. You mentioned the nine who sit on the council. Is the nine the same nine as those mentioned in this book? I am Ra. The council of nine has been retained in semi-distorted form to two main sources, that known in your naming as Mark and that known in your naming as Henry. In one case, the channel became the scribe. In the other, the channel was not the scribe. However, without the aid of the scribe, the energy would not have come to the channel. Questioner. The names that you spoke of, were they Mark Probert and Henry Puherick? I am Ra. This is correct. Questioner. I am interested in the application of the law of one as it pertains to free will with respect to what I would call the advertising done by UFO contacts with the planet Earth. The council seems to have allowed the quarantine to be lifted many times over the past 30 years. This seems to me to be a form of advertising for what we are doing right now so that more people will be awakened. Am I correct? I am raw. It will take a certain amount of untangling of conceptualization of your mental complex to reform your query into an appropriate response. Please bear with us. The Council of Saturn has not allowed the breaking of quarantine in this time-space continuum you mentioned. There is a certain amount of landing taking place. Some are of the entities known to you as the Group of Orion. Secondly, there is permission granted not to break quarantine by dwelling among you, but to appear in thought form capacity for those who have eyes to see. Thirdly, you are correct in assuming that permission was granted at the time space in which your first nuclear device was developed and used for the Confederation members to minister to your peoples in such a way as to cause mystery to occur. This is what you mean by advertising and is correct. The mystery and unknown quality of the occurrences we are allowed to offer have the hoped-for intention of making your peoples aware of infinite possibility. When your peoples grasp infinity, then and only then can the gateway be open to the law of one. Questioner, you said that Orion was a source of some of these contacts with UFOs. Can you tell me something of that contact, its purpose? I am raw. Consider, if you will, a simple example of intentions which are bad good. This example is Adolf. This is your vibratory sound complex. The intention is to presumably unify by choosing the distortion complex called elite from a social memory complex and then enslaving by various effects those who are seen by the distortion as not elite. There is then the concept of taking the social memory complex thus weeded and adding it to a distortion thought of by the so-called Orion group as an empire. The problem facing them is that they face a great deal of random energy released by the concept of separation. This causes them to be vulnerable as the distortions amongst their own members are not harmonized. Questioner, what is the density of the Orion group? I am Ra. Like the Confederation, the densities of the mass consciousness which comprise that group are varied. There are a very few third density, a larger number of fourth density, a similarly large number of fifth density, and very few sixth density entities comprising this organization. Their numbers are perhaps one-tenth hours at any point in the time-space continuum as the problem of spiritual entropy causes them to experience constant disintegration of their social memory complexes. Their power is the same as ours. The law of one blinks neither at the light nor the darkness, but is available for service to others and service to self. However, service to others results in service to self, thus preserving and further harmonizing the distortions of those entities seeking intelligent infinity through these disciplines. Those seeking intelligent infinity through the use of service to self create the same amount of power but, as we said, have constant difficulty because of the concept of separation which is implicit in the manifestations of the service to self which involves power over others. This weakens and eventually disintegrates the energy collected by such mind-body-spirit complexes who call the Orion Group and the social memory complexes which comprise the Orion Group. It should be noted, carefully pondered, 
and accepted that the law of one is available to any social memory complex which has decided to strive together for any seeking of purpose, be it service to others or service to self. The laws, which are the primal distortions of the law of one, then are placed into operation and the illusion of space-time is used as a medium for the development of the results of those choices freely made. Thus all entities learn, no matter what they seek. All learn the same, some rapidly, some slowly. Questioner. Using as an example the fifth density concerning the social memory complex of the Orion group, what was their previous density before they became fifth density? I am raw. The progress through densities is sequential. A fifth density social memory complex would be comprised of mind, body, spirit complexes harvested from fourth density. Then the conglomerate or mass mind body spirit complex does its melding and the results are due to the infinitely various possibilities of combinations of distortions. Questioner. I'm trying to understand how a group such as the Orion group would progress. How would it be possible if you were in the Orion group and pointed towards self-service to progress from our third density to the fourth? What learning would be necessary for that? I am raw. This is the last question of length for this instrument at this time. You will recall that we went into some detail as to how those not oriented towards seeking service for others yet nevertheless found and could use the gateway to intelligent infinity. This is true at all densities in our octave. We cannot speak for those above us, as you would say, in the next quantum or octave of beingness. This is, however, true of this octave of density. The beings are harvested because they can see and enjoy the light love of the appropriate density. Those who have found this light love, love light, without benefit of a desire for service to others, nevertheless, by the law of free will, have the right to use that light love for whatever purpose. Also, it may be inserted that there are systems of study which enable the seeker of separation to gain these gateways. This study is as difficult as the one which we have described to you, but there are those with the perseverance to pursue the study just as you desire to pursue the difficult path of seeking to know in order to serve. This distortion lies in the effect that those who seek to serve the self are seen by the law of one as precisely the same as those who seek to serve others. For are all not one? To serve yourself and to serve others is a dual method of saying the same thing, if you can understand the essence of the law of one. At this time, we would answer any brief question you may have. Questioner. Is there anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? I am raw. There are small adjustments you can make. However, we are now able to use this instrument with minimal distortion and without depleting this instrument to any significant extent. Do you wish to ask further? Questioner. We do not wish to tire the instrument. Thank you very much. That was very helpful, and we would like to continue in the next session from this point. I am raw. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth then rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai.